Today's daf is daf Chav Zayin, and we are up to the Mishnah. We're up to the Mishnah on top of the page. We're continuing to learn about a lost object and about Simonim. So the Pasik when it talks about that, if you find an object, you have to return it to your to your um, to your brother, the whoever whoever lost it. It says in the Pasik you should do the same thing, donkey, the same thing with Sim Lasa to the you know, garment. And anything else that they lose. And then there's another passage that says you shouldn't stand there and watch the shirt of your brother, the cow of your brother, or the sheep of your brother you know, get lost. You have to return it. So why does the Torah have to highlight these four different things? Well, as we'll see in the Gemara. When it says, you have to return any lost object to your brother, then obviously a, a, a garment is included. So why is it say to highlight a garment? To compare the laws of years to a garment. Let me tell you. What do we know about a garment? Uh, generally, that there's something unique about the garment. You might have some kind of a telltale sign that it's yours. This is how we read it now. We'll see it later, maybe differently. And there's an owner to it. And as uh, Ashley explained, how do you know there's an owner to it? Because it doesn't happen by itself. Somebody has to put it together. So we know that there's an owner to it. <clears throat> it's not just Hefker. I've called Dover. So anything else. Yes, but some money. If you have any signs. Yes, the table. And there's an owner to it. Chayvach is you have to declare it. As long as the person wasn't a Yaish. That's what we learned from Simla. So what we learned from Simla is that yes, the It has someone there who is claiming it. So big machlek is showing him that whether we learn the concept of Yehosh from here itself or not. According to Rashi, and basically, actually, so Yishalmi as well, they learned from the fact that Mimenu, and we learned before that if it comes the plunder of the sea or the river, since it's lost not only Mimenu, but Mikol Odin, lost to everybody, then you can keep it. So Rashi learned, that's where we learned Yehosh from. If, you know, somebody abandons hope, because nobody can get it, so then you can keep it. That's where we learned Yehosh from. Other Hashem holders, not do with Yish, that's Rachman or Shaya. It's a law on the Torah that if you can't have any relationship with the item, then you're no longer the owner because nobody can have a relationship. And you learn Yish maybe from here. That similar has Torah, has uh, somebody who's claiming one. So, so money. My, what, what's the mission referring to when it says Bechlal Kolei? It was included, included in what? I'm going to Bechlal. There's a policy where it says Kol Aved Zechicha. You should do the same thing to any lost item of your brother. And prior to that, it says, do this to your donkey, do this to the simulase. So then, that's what I'm just referring to. So Amar Rabbi Rabbi says, at the end of the day, there are four different examples that Torah gives. Lama Likos Achman, the Torah says, Shoy, see somebody Shoy, Chamoy, see somebody donkey, somebody Se, a sheep, and then similar address. What do you need all four of them for? So obviously, each one teaches us something new. See, we need all four. The Ikasar Achman, a similar only by a similar have me ever thought honey me I would have thought you know when um I would have thought you know when we say that a simon is is valid is good only by aiding the goof I have the item itself that floss for example the garment I have simonim on the garment itself the simon in the goof either I have witnesses that they know this garment or that uh, I have some sign on the garment I will chamoy when it comes to a donkey most donkeys more or less are the Saying, how do you recognize your donkey is yours through saddle? So the simon is sort of extraneous to the donkey. How do you know that the simon on the saddle it should be good enough to be an indication also regarding the donkey? Exactly. So Abu Khamoy Baidi the Ukib is Simon and the Ukib, but when it comes to Khamoy, all I have is witnesses about the saddle or have signs of the saddle. Amal Loy Mahadin Lay, why return it? Don't give it back. Because Rahman Khamoy that just says donkey. I feel the Khamoy, that even a donkey, the Simoni Ukib is good enough. As Mark said later that you know they once you know the saddle stays on the donkey, it fits the size and you know rips it into the donkey itself, so you can become part of the donkey. And uh, there's machlokes to show. What about the other way around? If you have a sign on the donkey, does it help for the saddle to sitting on top of it or not? Anyway, then the Mark said, "Okay, fine." Shoy b'seif is not Why does Shoy b'seif? Shoy that filu legiza zonvoy that even if this the shearings of its tail. A shirt has very little hair. All it has is on the tail. What's the value already of what it has on the tail? Very little. Nevertheless, um, <clears throat> nevertheless, you have to return it. And the se, and the se, sheep, the shearings, you have to return it. 
Says the Gemara, well, which is more? Of course, a set is more. Is little like Mona Shay. Let the trader just tell a share that the sharing of the trade. That feel the Giza Zandra, even that little bit you have to return. But Hoshke sell the Giza Isa. And surely a sheep, if, if the little bit of hair that the share has, you have to return it to the owner. And I'm sure the sharing is of a share. Say you have to return to the owner. Hello, Mara Chamoy, the Robert says, Chamoy the boy. That, uh, <clears throat> Patient says, what's the big change by the shearings of a tail? So what happens? It makes it a big quantity, small quantity. So tell you the Kiddush is that it's less than a Shabbat Prut. And we'll see there's no mitzvah of a Shabbat Saved if it's less than a Shabbat Prut. But the shearings of a tail, there is. Why? Either because some are showing learn because when you, 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 you share the wool, it allows more wool to grow back. So the cumulative amount will be more than a Shabbat Prut. <laughs> and, and so on. So I think about it further. Um, falls into a pit. So according to us, you know, we dash and show the lay of them. If a person falls in and dies, you're not responsible. And chamoy will like Kalin. If the Kalin falls in, you're responsible. So that's why we need the word chamoy shep. But Rabbi Huda holds that you are chayif for Kalin. So according to him, what is it? Why does it say chamoy? So the so chamoy the bird, Rabbi Huda, is superfluous. The se, the aveda. And by aveda, the trader says se. A sheep, which we don't know what to learn from there. The Dirahako Kasha. What do we learn from them? We don't know. What do you mean you don't know? The aim, let's say the Galilus. What about the dung that comes from an animal? It has very little value. Maybe that's the Kiddush that you have to return that as well. And that's what Seth comes to teach you. They don't know because Golim Afkurim Afkulu. You don't have to return it. because And whoever is taking care of the animals is allowed to keep the Galilus, is allowed to keep that dung. And that's not what the Pasuk is going to teach you. It's so insignificant. Says so about okay, but Dimba the Simoni does remember we had we had a few weeks ago a question whether the idea of returning an object to somebody just by some telltale sign, Simoni, is that from the Torah or is that from the Rabbanon? And we'll learn more about it soon on this page further down. So maybe that's what Seth comes to teach you that the, that not only witnesses get you to return the item, but even a sign, a simon. The boy may have a question. Simoni did I say the Rabbanon? Cause the Rabbanon said, maybe that's what Seth said. I feel like Simoni imagine that Simoni is good enough. <clears throat> um the Simon in the Raisa um, and um, and, and Simon is from the Torah, says the Gemara. Um, <clears throat> um, I'm the Tanil who Tanil the Simon got similar. The fact that our Tan and our Mishnah, where does the Tan and our Mishnah add the word Simon from the word similar? Right, the mission asks why is it similar? So just like a similar has simonin has tayvin. If you're right that the reason why the trader wrote the word say is to teach you simonin, then why would the time to say you learn simonin from similar? It means the tony ma similar mechet shes ber simon v'yesh la tayv chayv hachri. You have to announce it. I've told you ber simon shes ber tayv chayv hachri. Shema menod is said love simonin who does it. Must be at least that our time holds. That's not what said comes for. So let's go to our time at least. What does our time do with the word say? We don't know. So then we remain with the question. Why we why what do we learn from the word set? Says the Gemara. Um, what we learned. It says in the Pasik, Asha Teva. It says this way you the donkey, the garment, and any Aveda of your brother, Asha Teva me men who that's lost from him. Umatsas and you found it, and you shouldn't you know close your eyes, you should return it. So what are we talking about? Asha Teva. What do we mean that he lost? Pratla Veda Sha'ima Shah Pruta. If an object does not have the value of a pruta, it's different. Now, big machrek is a shiny when we different. Some say that you don't have the mitzvah hashabas aveda, but you cannot keep it yet. There's still an owner to it. Others say that when it comes stealing, Allah still less hashabas brutal. But here, because he lost it and he's no longer, he lost it. So, Luchay is no longer any balabatish guy. And the trader said, No, but you have a mitzvah hashabas aveda, and therefore that, that means that you have to return it. Less than a shabas brutal, there's no mitzvah hashabas aveda. And once you have no mitzvah hashabas aveda, and you can keep it because since it's like a fruit, there's no ownership anymore. But the Gneva, we know the Chatisha is also like uh, seasonal, as we say, you know, not to. Rabbi says, says Umatsasa. So we learn from the word Asha Tevit, you have to lose something of value. Rabbi says from the word Umatsasa, you have to find something of value. Prada Vedisha Fruta, my benefit. What's if you learn from the word, <laughs> you learn from the word uh, from um, what do you call Aveta Sachich Asha Tevit, or you learn from Umatsasa? What's the difference? I'm going to buy a mashwa and I know difference. It's just which question, which word. Mine not going to be about Shatavid, mine not going to be about Shasavid. Each one says it has to be significant. 
Okay, if you learn from the word it has to be a value or significant. And you found something. I went by the needle and have You have What have you say? We had this in the beginning of this The Omar Abinoy says the din is that uh, you only have mitzvah shavu zaveda when it comes to a yid. You don't have mitzvah The chiddush you would have thought that only okay. I don't have mitzvah shavu zaveda. I can leave it there. But if I picked it up already, maybe I now have to return it to the goy. So therefore, says the matzasa the also liyodem mashma that even it came into your hand, you don't have to give it back to the goy. And then before you talk about it as well, what happened if you hold a gezel akum as mutter? Did the pasuk tell you that you can keep something that you found that you didn't even take it from him? Remember we had a machlek because the gezel akum is awesome. How tired on this from the rabban? Well, man, the last one the one who learns from matzos. Hi, I just my yovel. I was learning to be able to something significant. I mean, no, the matzos you got to find significant. The boy that be able to be able to be shorei. And now the avedah is shot for no. I know again be looking for an avedah swept away by the river. She would tell us. The modish number says, "Kein tazal avedah chish hashet to be me menu u matzos that was lost from him." And you found it. If let's say it was lost to him, but anybody else can find it, then you have to give it back. And this is a term that she from this passage, that concept of Yiddish. The either of the other person who learns from the word how did I know how does he learn it? He learned it as an extra vav. That extra vav teaches you a second. The other one, how does he know the dinner of Rabbi Yechon that says, you know, that it's lost by the river? Nafka, he learned out the word menu only if it's lost from him, but lost from everybody, it's losing menu. So why do you need a person? I should tell you about me menu, just learn the word menu. Me menu, he doesn't dash my mashmai. So according to buy the whole thing is only mashmai. It's coming over, he says, no. Prutu, you know, there's a big mashmai in Allah. A pruta shuhuz the ikibanaya. What happens with the pruta when you lost it, but when you found it, it less. They have mitzvah shavu. You said muzlo. You mean the pruta? Devalued. Devalued like the copper wore out or yeah, whatever was devalued. Whatever makes a difference, devalued. But at the time it was worth, and it doesn't mean the pruta itself. Whatever the object was it was worth a pruta at the time when you lost it, but it was worth when you found. It. If you learn from, uh, if you learn from the from the pasuk where it says I should toivad. Okay, it was worth a put there. It doesn't matter what, what state it was when he found it. But if you learn from Matsasa, you have, at the time of finding it, it had to be worth a put there. Otherwise, you have no Mr. Shavu Zavay. Malam has a type of ego, Malam has a selector. That's what I'm talking about. Well, Malam has a type of being a Matsasa. The Pasik says a Matsasa. Even if you learn from the word, that's a type But nevertheless, it says also Matsasa. <clears throat> you know, that, it, um, so you, it, the end of the day, has to find also worth a put El pruta shahuki kibra. One up in value. Mando matzasa ikad is a value pruta. Mando asha tevet lekta. Um, mando matzasa habin asha tevet. But you need to put them both ends. El pruta shahuzle v'chazav v'chuka. It was with the pruta when it was lost. Then it went down and it went back up again. Mando asha tevet ikad. We focus on the moment it was lost. The pruta that's it. Mando asha matzasa begin and the eat b'shir mitzim mishas aved of ashas mitzir. Has to be uniform. Exactly. Now I'll go back to the question we started on before. Iboy, you have a question. Simonin, is that the Raisa Simon? Is that Mahatayda? Or is that Midrabon? And Mainaf Kamina, the idea of Simon, Mainaf Kamina, well, how do they get Isha the Simon? Let's say the Shliach lost the get. And, uh, and and the Shliach gives, gives Simon, well, this is a question of the Taylor. Will we give the return to get based on Simon? You have no other evidence. And we had this. Mother before, where Rabbi said that he, you know, he, 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 yeah, and, he, and they get back to him, and he wasn't sure why. Do we now remember the different levels of Simon? There's a similar called Simon Muvik, like we found a hole next to a particular letter. Then there's a Simon Sheinu Muvik, it's a Simon, but you know, people can guess it perhaps. It's not such a Muvik. And so when we say Simon and the Nice of the Bun, the Machlik is what we're talking about, Simon Muvik, that we want to know the Nice. Or even a similar shayna movement was very nice. Says the Gemara. He am the nice. I'm going to give it back. Give it a bun. Give it a bun to count to the mind. The bun only makes a tough time to mama. You should love it a bun to count. When it comes to weighty matters like uh, the get of a woman, we're not going to give it back just by simanim. We need better proof than that. Toshma, look at our Mishnah. It says. Similar was included in the of the Sikha, Bulama Yotza, and the Mishnah says, So why was it taken out? La Hakish, a level of Massimo, and the Tedish, yes, has some money. The yes, but Taylor says clearly in the Mishnah that some money is, is, is a way of returning it, of, of identifying it. Chayla Hakis, I've called it as one of the Taylor Chayla Hakis. 
So it's clear that what we learn some money from the word similar. What's your question? Said the Gemara, no. Really, what you learn from there is Tana Tovin Itzachalay. What we need is to teach you that Tovin that there is an owner to it. And Simani Kadinas. It's not only brought by the way, but it's not that that's not Tovin. Tovin Midrabanu Simani. But main thing at that Tovin, there's an owner here, therefore who wasn't Miyayish, and therefore you have to return. Tashma come here. Chamoy. It says that Chamoy. You return it. Then you return it. The Simani Ukas. With the signs of the saddle. Again, say clearly, some money. Ema, read it as if to say, Be'edet Ukif. Um, we read it, if it doesn't mean Simonim, Simonim, it means Aiden come along and say that what? That they recognize the Ukif. Tashma come here, Behoye Imcha, this item that you found should be remain with you. Add Duresh al Chichai. So your brother comes and tries to, you know, collect it and, and then searches for it. Obviously, you give it to when you search it. If you don't search it, how would you give it to him? It means investigate. Investigate if this person who's coming forward now, is he a known liar or is he not a known liar or not? <clears throat> um, so, um, so my love, and what and how does he come for? What do you investigate? It's your money. The most of no, the Aiden. What are the eight now? What's the role of the Aiden? Two ways of Machal Yashayim. Ah, so, so Rashi and Aiden come along and say, We recognize this Aiden. But others say, No, it's not Shadro. Aiden is a Balmo. And others say that Aiden come along and say, yeah, We, right. he's not a Ramai. No, if it's a Ramai, you won't believe him. Bring Aiden to see whether the guy is not a Ramai. Once they've established not a Ramai, then we will leave the Saman. But but that means we do have a mocker for some basis for Simonim. If the guy is definitely not a Ramai. And Simon Mubit, then the Simon is Mahatayu. But what about um, if we don't know the guy's a Ramai now? Then it's only with the Rabbana. Tashma come here. A meeting of a married woman. Uh, the husband went away abroad and then Aiden come along and say, We know the husband died. They have to say, they, they have to just say like this. We saw a lot of parts of Pali, we recognize his face in Machrikim with the nose. That means the entire face structure was there. But if they say we recognize a mole here or something like that, or, yeah, or we recognize the clothes, that is not going to work. That's not going to work. So we see clearly from there, I have a simon in the roof. It's not valid. Only the face. Because that's like a simon moving, moving. You know, the top, <clears> that <throat> you recognize the face. The face you can't distort. Does he want um I'm really, no, they're, they're talking about Simonim maybe work Mahatayla, but here we're talking about it's not even it's not even the same machine movement. It's Gufay the order of the goods. You say, oh, he was tall or short. <laughs> you know, half the world population might be tall, or half the world population might be short, whatever, a significant amount. So just to guess, it means nothing. It's not even the same machine to move it. It's a you know, step lower than that. And Caleb, okay, what about the garments? If Simon and I say, they say we recognize the suit or whatever, why could Barnage accept it? The Chashin and the Shaila were saying that maybe it was borrow clothes. If you ever read the book, the five novelettes, out of the depths, you, yeah, you'll see that story where it happened, exactly that happened. Borrow the clothes of somebody else. Uh, <clears throat> then he mother said, oh, now that you do that, maybe it's like a Chashin and Shaila. Going back, you said before, that's something extraneous. For example, why do we say Chamoy to tell you that you can give the return return the donkey back based on the saddle? But now that you tell me something extraneous could have been borrowed, exchanged, how in the world can you give return a donkey based on the saddle? How can you give it back based on the saddle? Amri, we say, it's different between a saddle and saying a suit you wear. Uh, you can rent a suit, you can rent a tuxedo. So he says that, okay, when it comes to saddle, like, People don't lend out the saddle. Why not? Because because, because the masaka because it sort of eats it's like into it's, and, and that, our time. It sort of eats into the donkey and becomes part of your donkey. Therefore, you don't you don't just transfer it around. Or he buys him. Another reason why Kayla, not because it's borrowed. Again, it's a very weak simon. Uh, uh, it's not even a simon shadow mover. For example, Kayla the chibri was something tells you, you know he's wearing white a white uh, outfit or a black outfit it's a very weak symbol a lot of time he learned much of culture key he found the get a guy lost the get and he found the get tied to his wallet his purse or to his ring where he found the get that he lost he found it among his own belongings even though it was a long time later 
And we learned before that one of the fact uh, one of the factors is you lose a get and you don't find it until a very long time later. We say that it's possible. Oh, well, here's caution. Here's caution. Now, Esau's a doctor. I leave and tell me what people lend. People have been borrow. Maybe the person. Maybe it's his purse, but maybe he lent it to somebody. And therefore, the fact that and, and that other person is the one who tied to get to it. So why can you return it to him? Just because you recognize the purse. Once you open this door, that people lend things. So you might have Esau's doctor. Maybe you can tell me. Kaishin and Shaila, people lend out things. Kimotcha kosher because you found it. You mature. You found the tie to his wallet. I might kosher. Nechel the Shaila. Maybe lent as well. I'm going to say certain personal items you don't lend. Peace. And an anarchy you don't lend out. If a tabas nor a ring, why not? It is bad luck if you lend out your purse or your wallet. It's like a sign that you are, um, you're you about to lose your muzzle. Tej already asked, we don't, it says, you know, I'll make up these signs and, and then act accordingly. So Taisa says, a pellet bigger thing that the Mephoshim scratched their heads. Taisa is a kiss, the anarchy. Taisa has asked this question. So it says, Lisa Nachshu, the Eshlema, just read what Taisa says. Amrina, we say, Koldova she yesh by Mishim Rufua, anything which is medicinal, aim by Mishim Darti Amaydi. Now, what does that mean? Yeah, yeah. Where does medicine come from? No, no, no. We're talking about the idea that if, that you, people say that if you, you lend your wallet, it's a bad, bad sign that you're giving away your money. That means that your mazel is about to turn south. And Tasha asks, you know, listen, you know, make up things to believe in these voodoo stuff. And so Tasha says, medicinal things, you're allowed to. What is what are they talking about? So so, so one possibility. Right yeah, but then stuff, stuff to some ammunition, don't give us some ammunition. Then. It's just the idea that you don't lend because, as Ashley says, you don't lend it because for your personal lend is like a sign. You're selling away your, your good fortune. So someone to say, what Tasha really means is he's talking about something which you know we didn't know the last hundred years, mental health. That is that is the reason why it's 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 not because you really believe, but now that you have this creeping suspicion, you're gonna behave this way in a way that you're not you're no longer gonna invest money, you're no longer gonna work hard because you think that's it. You you, you sold the way you think. So that's the refuel part of it. Or Tasha saying, just like a refuel, why do we allow a refuel? Because we you repeat it again and again and again, which and, and proves that it's real. Same thing over here. This idea of giving away your wallet and then your mazel turns turns uh, down has been proven. Maybe that's what Tasha is trying to say. Otherwise, it's very difficult to understand what Tasha means here that it's medicine. Anyway, a ring you don't give away. And in those days, it's a signet ring. And people who forge a signature, they don't give it away. Let us say this whole thing is an argument tonight regarding some money. Said Amy, no shumer. You don't say I'm a mole. You don't you don't give any aid. There's a lot of my boy. I'm eating no shumer. You do. Testify based as a sign that you have a mole. My lab of this argument. Therefore, you don't give ages on it. It's not good enough. Um, what do you call it? And um, we're talking about if a woman wants to remarry and the husband died. This is the only sign that they have. Um, and the laws of you saw the Simon that I said, therefore, you will. Oh, my Lord, no. Give you different ways of understanding it. Really, equally, I'm a Simon made the nice. Maybe I'll hope everyone holds the right. But Hacha, Bishuman, Metsuya, but Bangila, can we go arguing whether it's really a unique Simon? Is it really a Simon movie? Or other people born on the same constellation, your Bangila, they all have are susceptible to this kind of a, of, of a physical <laughs> growth. Whatever happened with that muzzle, Shaila, 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 in the same muzzle, also susceptible to this. That's one way of learning. Everyone holds it's not, it's, it's unique. But the argument is now that the, the, the husband died, the, the, a person after they died, do we say some of their signs, some of the body, physical body, physiological state changes, and therefore you can no longer use these kind of things as a cement. Nobody says the face changes, but you know, the mole suddenly are growing massive, they do change after a person dies, and therefore you can no longer use it. Um, for example, the color changes from black to white, white to black after the person dies, you can no longer use that as a sign. It doesn't happen. He buys him another way of understanding it, it doesn't change. And perhaps for argument's sake, everyone agrees. Is it really considered a similar movie? A simon muvik, I told you about the degrees of simon. In other words, even if you if you hold simon rabbanon, you need to have a simon muvik. Masal shemazim muvik. It's a very good simon, so we'll accept it. 
There's different degrees of simonim. Um, if, if it's not a simon mubik and simonim the rabbanon, you wouldn't accept it. If you want to say simonim lav the raisa, heiche mahadrinan avidato be simonim. Then why is it tafia? So how can you give back based on? Yeah, but what happens here? Maybe you give back to the wrong person, and you're harming the real the real owner. Why would the Chachamim get involved in Hefke and Hefke know that when they, you're helping one person now, you might be harming somebody else? So the Gemara, um, uh, what is it? <clears throat> uh, the Nichle, the Gemara says, he answers, the Nichle, the the person who found the Abdullah is very happy. The Nader, with some money, that he should get to keep it through some money, the Abdullah, the day, Nami, the Hadley, so that if he ever loses his own object, they'll give it back to him through some money. He'd be happy to have someone else's item. What kind of thing is that? The very owner of the Aveda is more than happy to give away the Aveda to, to somebody who brings the money so that there's a chance, at least there's a good chance of, of retrieving it. Because if you only back the money, he'll never get his object back. The money, he knows the Aiden less, he knows he has no witnesses. No one else knows my unique signs. I know you have a You should come to claim this theirs, but I'll give telltale signs. We should kill I'll take it. Says you might have heard in the first paragraph. If one person borrowed from three different lenders and you found the three stars next to each other, the question is who you give it back to. You give it back to the labor. And right now we're learning the reason is because he has a good sin. Shalai, shalai, three people borrowed from one lender. And you found all three documents together. Yachzel, Mal, give back to the lender. Nichalei, lalei, you tell me the whole reason is why. So obviously the Malva gives a simon. And therefore you give it back to the Malva. You think the lawyer is happy that you're going to return the, the loan contract if he really paid it? Nichalei, lalei, 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 this husband, is he happy? Um, like there has nothing to do with some money. You know why we give back to the Malva? What are the chances that three different borrowers lost their uh, the contract so, and all in the same street corner? It obviously came from one person. Nothing to do with it. It's not because of the simon. It's to do with the, the chances of who did, did it fall from. Hasam, a question of probability. It's more common to happen more that a label lost three than a three different malvas lost in the same place. Three people were from one bar, Yaxl and Malva. They got Malva, Shrike, Gabla, Shrike. It's more common than a malva lost in another label. Elohadit, now we learn, we learned this before as well. Motta Tachtish shall stutters, or Yagudu Shatutter, you find them tied together a bundle. Hareze Yaxl, we learned before what the definition is. Hokinami, you give back all the documents and he has maybe has to pay it again through some money. And your whole vote was, but the, 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 guy, the guy, the owner of the, the document is happy for it to be away. You see? The Nikhil Leibla Dudla Malva and to repeat the borrow that go back to him again and bang pay a second time. Elamarov Zrava Simon in the Raisa. Therefore, I believe that Simonin is from the Torah. The see because it says, like the passage we brought before, it should be with you until you your brother searches for us. You'll be back to four eight searches. You sit check him out if he's a liar. And then how do you give it to him? And then he brings he tells you the signs, you get back to him. Shmam, isn't that a clear proof? Says so more to understand. Oh, my brother, if you rather hold that Simon, is my Torah, he prefaced this whole discussion by saying, Im tim Simon, I mean, Im You're just asking that Simon is the Raisa. Im tim tzolayim, and ha-pashon lay Simon the Raisa. You don't want to rule that Simon is the Torah. Shemar says, Mishum, the equal name, because it's not compelling my proof, because like we said before, Kiddush Shonim, we answered before, that what, and what we asked before, that, that, that you give back to your brother once you've established he's not a liar, you give it back to him with Adim. Well, Adam was either that the object belongs to him or the Adam established that that person is not a liar. So what happened? You have some money with some money. One guy gave a sign and one guy gave a sign. Who do you give it back to? You near. You leave it alone. Some money, unless one, one sim is much better than the other one. You see money to Adam. One guy brought some money, one brought Adam. Who's stronger? Because Simonim is not conclusive like Adam. According to many, Simonim is based on the concept of rape in all probability. I we have a rule, ain't mm-hmm. but over here you're not going against any particular chazaki because it's found out in the street. One of the guys that has a sim it brings an eidechad. Eidechad command the lesson, eidechad doesn't count because even if the eidechad he won't make you swear because I have some money to prove what I'm that it's mine. So the eidechad as if it's non existent. Um, 
V'yinich yilim tel yoh comes. Eidim are eigav and filo. One guy said has eidim that he wove it together, but the other guy has eidim that fell from him. So nos and laid in the filo. Maybe the guy who fell from the ganav. We we give it to the guy who has eidim that fell down. That means we say the vuna zovna. He bought it. Umein shchli and uh, and uh, uh, or he sold it and it fell from the, it fell from this other guy, not from this original person. <clears throat> um, some want to say that before when we say eidim, we're talking about eidim. Who it fell from. And Midas argument is Rachway. One guy gave the length and one guy gave the width. Who do you give it back to? So not so Midas argument. Give it back to the guy who gives the length. Because the width you can see on the back of the person, you get a, a rough idea. The length it goes in front of the person, the back of the person, you can't really see. Uh, the the Midas Rachway, Shirukam Shali, you can guess the Rachway better, easier than the Midas Rachway, yeah, than the Arkhoi. Karmach Slay Mimor of the Koi. Um, easy once he covers them, you can see you get a rough idea how wide it is. It's hard to it's much harder to see the length. Midas Arka, Midas Rach. One guy gave the length of width, and one guy gave Midas Gamba, the, the total squareage. One guy says eight amas long, four amas wide. One guy says thirty-two square amas. Then you know, so the Midas Arka Rach. Since it's much more de- detail specific, then we'll give it to him. It's a stronger simon. Midas Arka, Midas Rach. One guy gave the length of width, and one guy gave Midas Mishkalaisa. One guy gave the weight. You know, as Tyson explained before, whichever is the less common is a stronger simon. And nobody weighs garments. So obviously, if this guy knows accurately the weight, it must be his owner. Who am I simon I get? We am I simon I get? He says simon I get and she does. What do you believe? You know, in this case, give her. He knows there's no chiddush because he made it. The chiddush, how does she know? Uh, if you're talking about the length of width, maybe she just noticed it in his hand. It has to be a good simmer, simmer movement. She, if she knows that, obviously she had to get in her hand. Who are you? Some money I could be a medicine. I could the string. You know, to give it to her again. But my yield is your white and red. You imagine local because maybe she noticed the color. I mean, it's okay. Something a bit more specific. Who are the coffee? Exactly. If he and she say was in a canteen or a little bad packet, you know, then you give it to him. Why? My time, my milk is not a simon. Maybe everyone knows the whole matter is that the chapis of the man. You have something for storage, you put it in these things. It's not a simon. So we generate some money, we always give it to the more simulic one to get the better simon. Okay, have a good day. See you tomorrow, Mr. Chen. Yes. Yes.